was heading to explore a new lake slash river that we've never tried we've been eyeballing for a long time but we cannot resist the urge when we drove by the spillway which is very rare on a saturday but not a single person was fishing except way down there and one on the other side but this side not a single person and what we don't understand it just rained three inches and you can't even tell unless they just they're holding back the water maybe right now this water is super low just like it was when me and her caught the four foot gars our personal best gars so we decided to take advantage of the low crowd because it definitely won't be like this on labor day so we're going to do this one more time this year i'm hoping to get some big buffalo this time instead of gar or something else maybe some white bass later on the evening i might walk up there with regular size crankbaits and uh see if i can get into a white bass or two but for right now i'm gonna use the oversized crankbaits <clears throat> and try to get buffalo and gar let's see what happens guys one mistake i made was i left the scale at home but we got a pretty good idea by measuring them i left my scale laying on my bed oh goodness but other than that we're pretty prepared so let's see if we can get something here guys Oh yeah, I don't think it's a gar either. Yeah, it is. A little bigger, he's about 30 inches. No, you gotta use really deep diving crankbait that go down like 15 feet. It, that way it cuts right through the current. With real, yeah. And they gotta have really strong hooks on them too. And 50 pound line. <laughs> but once in a while you'll get a deep, you'll get a bass or a spoonbill or a carp or something. Oh yeah. I won't go above this stair, you'll just get hung. Man. Can you come here? Here. Get him from the back though. Get him from the tail, not the head. Do him from backwards. The long nose. Oh yeah, you thought you were going somewhere, didn't you, buddy? He's about 30 inches in, or bigger. Let me measure him real quick. You need to get that. Yeah, I know. I know. All right, guys, I'm gonna measure this before we get out on the net. <sighs> Yeah. Hold it. 38. Okay. 38 inches, guys. Pretty good. So he's about seven. He's about seven or eight pounds. About eight pounds. Uh, uh, hold on. Hold on. Uh, Oh, oh, you should use your gloves.
Look, the body. Yeah, I know. Oh my goodness. Now the other hook's in it. You're no. gonna hold it. At least I'm trying to do both things at once. It's hard. There we go. All right, I need you to take the camera off my head. Oh my God, you don't have a strength. Jesus. All right, guys. 38. Well, come on. 38 inch long nose. Not too bad for a good start anyway. Don't zoom. Just I'm not zooming. All right, guys, I'm gonna get it's her back It's big in. already. Oh my God. Let's see if I can get a 50 <laughs> incher again. I... It's okay. All right, guys, long nose gar, 38 inches. Oh. Let me get my gloves off first. Okay. Hold on. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, buffalo. down dang all right guys got me a big mouth buffalo figured out my problem I've been fishing way too far down below the dam I gotta move up about 50 feet Man, he is hooked way too good. All three hooks are in him. Hey, Wilma. Hey, Wilma. Guys, big mouth buffalo, about five or six pounds. Not big, not small, just average. Uh, get her 
her back, yeah. It's not a bad one. There we go. All right, what do I got? Buffalo. All right, I'm gonna net this guy. About the same as last time. It's even smaller, actually. Guys, big mouth buffalo, about four pounds, maybe, maybe five, about four. All right, second buffalo. Let's get her back in. I missed four and caught four. Oh, but I got one now. There we go. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, oh man. He's a three footer anyway, at least 36. Oh yeah. Right when I said, it sure is slow. <laughs> oh goodness. It's right behind me. All right, guys, this is my last fish, and then we're getting right to head out of here. We can barely see, and the mosquitoes will be here any second. Let me wear him out first. He's 30s, about mid 30s. Um, I can't tell yet. No, no, it's not. It's not a short nose. It's a long nose or a spotted. It's not a short nose. It's a long nose. Now don't don't grab my line. Don't ever grab a line. You still never learned that lesson? 
You always want to grab the line. That's the dumbest thing you can do. I, I know. God. Just. There you go. Oh, man. It's hung in the net. Big time. God. Always has to get hung in the dang net, man. Every time. The stupid crankbaits and the fish. Both hung in the net. Okay, come grab the camera off my head. He's about 45. He's about like yours was. He's 45 inches. I'm not going to measure it because we ain't got time, but he's easily in the mid-40s. Guys, this is my... I'd say he's my second biggest gar ever. It's not going to show up very good, but what can I do? I ain't got a light. All right, guys, this is a long nose once again. It is a big one. Cover the ice. He's about mid-40s. Cover the ice. Mid-40s. It ain't going to be able to see good. I hope it does, but I doubt it. I'll have to change the brightness. Just leave it alone. Just keep filming. I'll have to turn the brightness up when I get home. When it's on the computer, I'll be able to. All right, guys, long nose gar. Probably my second biggest one ever. He's in the low to mid 40s. I'm gonna say 42 to 45. Pretty big one. Woo, man, what a hoss. Talk about girthy too. You should miss your... <laughs> All right, I gotta wash these first, and then don't let me forget my pliers are laying down right there by that pole. We need to put that in the backpack. Okay. 